Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Same Pray With Jay. My name is Chanel and today I'm going to be doing part two of what my favorite black-owned makeup brands are and my favorite products from each of those brands. I will post um, part two down below in the description bar if you guys want to check that out. I did share three brands in that video and I'll be sharing three brands in this video as well. So we're mostly focusing on drugstore and luxury brands and high-end brands in these videos. If you guys want to see more indie brands and smaller businesses, I will link down below another video where I shared all my favorite small makeup businesses and my favorite products from each of those brands that I tried. There were Latina owned brands, black owned brands inside that video. So that video will be linked down below as well. So just starting off, I think I'm going to start off with um, Colored Rain. So one of my favorite products from Colored Rain is their eyeshadow base, which is one of their newer products. And this is what it looks like. I do have mine in the shade Wheat. This is a really nice eyeshadow base. Um, I really love the color for this. I will swatch it. And you do get a lot of product in here. It's 0.4 ounces or 12 milliliters for, I believe this is $11. And Colored Rain always has really good discounts. So that's the color of the eyeshadow base and see how nicely that blended out and how smooth it is really nice nude shade so this is really nice and creamy it works really well with all the eyeshadow brands i have in my collection it's really easy to apply it adheres to the eyeshadow really nicely and i like this way better than p louise base next i have the colored rain bronzer and mine's is in the shade cinnababe this does retail for $16, which is a really good price point. And I just love the packaging. You do get a mirror. And this is what the color looks like. I've used this so much, so mine is really dirty. And I'm surprised I haven't made a dent in this product because I'm pretty sure I use this like 100 times already. I'm just going to swatch this. This is really nice, creamy, high quality formula. And there's so many different shades to choose from, so you can definitely find your bronzer in this brand. I believe there's either two or three shades after this one right here. Okay, so next I have the Colored Rain sponge. This is actually orange, but mine's is really, really dirty. I did use it for my makeup today. I applied my foundation, my concealer, and my setting powder with this product. I just love like the little slant. I don't know if you guys can see the slant because it is dirty, but... It has a nice flat edge, a nice pointy tip, and it's just a nice round bottom. They're really soft and squishy. I'm not really sure what's going on with the sponges because I noticed that they took them off the website. And these are really, really good and they're really inexpensive. Um, they're only $6 and they come in different colors, yellow, green, and orange. So I really hope they bring these back in stock because I definitely wanted to buy some more of these. But the next, last time I went on the site and I was looking for them, they weren't there. And I really do like their sponges better than Beauty Blender. They're way more affordable, a lot softer to work with, and they don't um, soak up too much product as well. Okay, so next I have their cream blushes. This one is floral and this one is spicy, a pink and an orange shade. There are four shades to choose from. These are my favorite because um, Drea on Instagram recommended these colors and like they're perfect. They're really, really nice. Like looking at this pink shade, you wouldn't really think this would like work on really dark skin tones, but it actually does. I just want the camera to like focus a little bit more on the color, but that's the pink shade. And I like to like dab the product right here if you like put too much on and I also have the brush that works with this product that they came out together and the brush is really nice mine's is dirty because I did use it to apply this like maybe a day or two ago and this is their small angled face brush this does retail for ten dollars and the cream blushes are sixteen dollars you get a lot of product they're super super creamy like I don't know if you guys can see that, but do you see how creamy that is? So pretty. And that is the orange blush. It would be perfect on dark skin tones. And if you have a heavy hand, I would be very, very careful with this blush because it is so pigmented. Like, and this is what the blush looks like blended out. 
very nice color for dark skin tones and I just love the dewiness to the blush as well. Like you don't have to add highlighter if you don't want to. This will give your face that really nice natural glow. And then lastly for Colored Rain, I have their liquid lipsticks. I have five of them right here. Um, these are all the ones that I own. So I have whatever, Truffle Rain, Caramel, Tootsie, and Mocha in this order. So this is the shade Whatever. And I love their liquid lipsticks because they're lightweight. You do not feel these on your lips. They're very pigmented. You only need like one application. You don't have to dip too much into the tube. I literally don't have to dip back in here if I don't want to. It'll like cover my entire lips. And I just love the applicator as well. I just love how big and flat the applicator is so you can get a lot of product on your lips. Especially if you're a person with bigger lips. So this one is Truffle Rain. A nice neutral brown shade. I just love their nudes for darker skin tones. That's another reason why I love their liquid lipsticks so much. There's like so many different shades of browns and nudes that I can try. Some of them I don't have to pair with a lip liner, which is really great. This one is Mocha. This one's one of my favorites. I just love a dark chocolate brown. And as you can see, they do take like a minute or two to dry down, so that's really nice. So you can definitely work with the product and don't have to worry about it drying too fast on your lips and then you can blend it out. Next, I have the shade Tootsie. This one's more on the red side, so it's not a nude shade. It's a really, really dark, vampy burgundy. And then lastly, I have the shade Caramel. A beautiful peachy nude. I'm just wiping it off with a makeup wipe. And another thing, I like that the fact that these don't really stain too much. Like this is what my hand looks like after wiping it off on the makeup wipe. And they're also really long lasting. But moving on to the next brand, I have LYS Beauty, which is from Sephora. I like the price point for this brand. It's like, it's not too expensive, but at the same time, it's not cheap. It's like kind of like um, Juvia's Place price point. So I really appreciate that, especially since it's in Sephora and you don't really see too many affordable brands at Sephora. But I have two of their cream blushes right here. This one is Self Love, which is like a mauve rose color. And it does have a nice little mirror and I just love the packaging. And then over here, I have the shade Confident, which is the first shade I ever bought. And I did do a try-on with these blushes and a Sephora haul. I'll link that video down below. These also give you that really nice glow to your skin. You don't have to put highlighter on if you don't want to. These are really nice and creamy, but they're not as creamy as the Colored Rain. Like, they're very close, but the Colored Rain has a little bit more slip to it. So this is the shade Confident. And this is self-love. And I love to apply my cream blushes with a blush brush. And then my last product from LYS Beauty is their lip oil. I love this so much. I use this all the time. This is a really high shine lip gloss. I like to use it as a lip balm to moisturize my lips throughout the day. And it does last all day long. I like to put it on at night when I'm sleeping as well. And the formula is like literally like the best formula I ever tried. And that's just a quick little swatch of what the lip oil looks like. It's just clear. It looks like peachy in the tube, but it's clear. And the cream blushes, I forgot to mention, I believe were $16 each. And then this was only $12. And you do get a lot of product inside these um, items. Okay, so lastly, I have Fenty Beauty, and I'm going to start off with the lip glosses. This is the Universal Lip Luminizer, and this is in Fussy. I do have a new one because I had the mini one from one of the gift sets, and mine's is almost empty. It's in one of my purses back there. I didn't want to like go and grab it, so I just grabbed the new one. I haven't opened this one at all, so I'm just not, I'm not going to swatch this one since I want to keep it brand new until I finish um, what I have already opened. But this one's my favorite. I just love the pink in this one because it brings out that like natural pink in my lips compared to like the other shades. 
and it does give you a nice tint to the lips and that like juicy looking um that juicy look to your lips and also has like really nice shimmers inside here so this one's my favorite out of all the luminizers and also i don't have to wear a lip liner with this lip gloss if i don't want to um it looks really nice on its own and then next i have two of the gloss balm creams this one's in honey waffles which i'm wearing on my lips today and this one's in the shade cupcake this one does only come in a set um, with another lip gloss. I forgot the name of the other shade, but it's like a hot pink shade. I kind of wish this was available as a single because this is like one of my favorite colors. But these are really nice and pigmented and very creamy, moisturizing, have a really nice high shine to it. And they're also my favorite formula out of all the gloss bombs that Fenty Beauty offers. So I'm just gonna swatch them really quickly. So this one's Honey Waffles and then this one is Cupcake. Um, I'm really surprised with Cupcake because I usually don't really go for pinks, but this looks so good with a dark chocolate brown lip liner. And I just like how unique the shade Honey Waffles is. And like I said, I am wearing Honey Waffles on my lips today. I did pair it with BFF4 from ColourPop. So this is just a close-up of the lip combo. Okay, so next I have the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bombs. I have a bunch of these, so I just randomly grabbed one. And this one's actually um, one of the darkest ones that you can get, so I figured I might as well share the one that's like more dark skin friendly. This one is Cognac Candy. So it's like a nice copper gold. So if you're a person who really likes a really blinding highlight, like a lot of shimmer and glitter, this is definitely gonna be for you. You just want to like add that little extraness to your look. This is definitely an item you should pick up from Fenty Beauty. I love these so much. And that's what Cognac Candy looks like. It has a nice glow to it. And you can definitely build it up. These are pretty expensive. They are $40. I did actually buy them. Um, when they drop, so I did pay the $40 for each of these because I'm just obsessed with the diamond bombs and as soon as she drops one, I always grab it no matter like what the price is. I just love them so much. Um, but they are pretty pricey. Um, Fenty Beauty does do sales sometimes, so like maybe for like the summer or like New Year's sale or friends and family or Black Friday, they usually have around like 30 or 20 or 25% off, so you can definitely pick it up during one of those sales as well. But again, this is just such a gorgeous product. I like to use it with my fingers and I also like to use it with a nice tightly dense brush as well. So next I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. This one is in the shade 410. This is one of my favorite concealers like just in general not just like my favorite um black own concealer but I like to use this for like my brows to like um conceal my eyebrows below them and I also like to use it under the eyes the t-zone and then like my chin and right here around my mouth area this is a really nice full coverage concealer you can definitely build it up it's easy to blend out it's more of like a natural matte finish so i really really highly recommend this concealer i'm actually wearing the bright fix concealer on my face right now because i want a more like natural looking under eye but this one is definitely um my favorite out of the two concealers from fenty beauty Okay, so next I have the 115 Kabuki foundation brush from Fenty Beauty. Mine is dirty because I did use it for like my NARS foundation review a while ago and I do need to like wash this. But this is a great foundation brush again for like full coverage like the Juvia's Place foundation brush. This is really nice. Um, you can also use it for like powder and stuff too but you can see how tightly packed the bristles are just by like how I'm applying it to my face right now. So it's definitely not a fluffy brush. If you don't like like really dense packed brushes, this is probably not going to be for you. But if you want like full coverage for your foundation or even like your powder foundation, this is going to be a really great brush to pick up. It is really expensive though. This does retail for like about $36, which is about the same price as her foundations. Um, I think I bought mine during one of those 30% off sales and I really... Really happy I picked it up. It's definitely worth the price in my opinion. I would definitely pick up another one of these if um, if anything happened to this brush. But I, I think this brush will last me a long time because none of the bristles fall out and it's really, really great high quality. I love the packaging as well and it's so cute and pink. 
it does look like a very nice professional brush okay so this is my last product this is a pro filter soft matte powder foundation in the shade 410 the same shade as the concealer that I use and I love this so much I did hit pan on it recently so that's what the product looks like it does have a mirror and it does come with a sponge as well but I never use the sponge I always just use a nice fluffy brush to apply it I like to use this as the last step in my makeup application I am wearing it all over my face today I like to use this to set my foundation this is like holy girl product I do plan on getting more of these um once I run out I might I actually buy two of these when I run out because I just love this powder so much and I literally use this every single time I do my makeup there's literally not one time I don't use this powder to set my face it gives you a really nice extra coverage to your makeup and it makes it look really smooth and airbrushed and it does have a natural matte finish okay guys so thank you guys so much for watching that's everything I have to share with you guys in this video let me know your thoughts down below and don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys